Hi there, it's Jay from Crackador Designs HD, and I'm bringing up a little follow-up uh, tutorial. Um, basically, it's uh, showing you something from my last tutorial. Um, my last tutorial was uh, showing how to add a couple of effects um, to Trooper FX's um, Syndicate project intro. Just showing you how to do a couple of effects out of that. And I'm going to show you how to make uh, Syndicate's um, logo 3D in Cinema 4D, uh, kind of like it is in in uh, Troopers Intro. Um, I'm just going to say I can't redistribute the project file, um, basically because it contains some content from G uh, Grayscale Gorilla, and uh, I can't redistribute that because it's against the law. Um, but I can show you how to make it, and I can tell you where to get the get the browser presets from. Right. So first I'm gonna just open up a new Cinema 4D. There we go. You know normal layout. You wanna to go to file and merge. Right, I'm gonna put this um illustrator path thing uh in a download link just so you can download that and uh, import it straight into your C four D. Um, you know, once you've uh, clicked it, you want to have the scale at one, connect splines and group splines if like unconnected. You know what I mean? Right, click OK, and that's what we get off. It's just a rough syndicate logo. Um, it's not amazing. I just uh, traced it from the print screen of Trooper's intro because uh, I couldn't find it anywhere else. But I think it came out okay. It's just pretty much the same shape. Right, so once that's done. Just gonna bring it to if I go cameras front. I'm just gonna bring it to center like that. Right. So if it's just back to perspective viewport for now. Move up. So I can see the whole thing. Right. I wanna bring in. Uh, if you go into the the nerves um, panel, hold on the left button. And go to extrude nerves and then release, and that'll add in the extrude nerves. Now I want to select the the path called Syndicate, and just drag it into extrude nerves so that arrow points down down, and that will create the 3D thing, 3D object. Now if I click on extrude nerves, I'm just going to up this depth to 50, 50 centimeters on the object tab, on caps. I'm going to add a filler cap and another filler cap. Keep the radius and everything the same, and that's your, your shape. You can see it's coming together. Right, what I'll do is now I will open up some of my materials from Grayscale Gorilla, uh, the texture kit. Um, so, yeah, if you want to open this up and you want to go into Rob Redman's textures, that's one of the artists. Um, and you want to scroll down to Candy Royal Blue. Double click that, and it should open in your Materials tab. And then what you're going to do is come down to the Scratches, and double click on the first Scratches uh, material. Click off that. Then now double click in here to make a new material of white. And I'm going to leave Color and Specular the same and uh, I'm going to add glow you'll see why in a minute don't use material color click that off click color I'm going to do like a light blue click OK that should do that you're going to bring the inner strength down to about 10% so it's barely noticeable the outer strength you want to bring down to 120 and then the radius you want to boost that up to 20. Now you can click off that. Now we're going to apply these materials to the object in a way that it will, you know, show it the way it is in the video. Right, I'm going to open up this candy material first. I'm going to have to change the color, change it as I do, just swing that at the top, then bring up the green a little to make it a bit brighter. Click off that and you're sorted. Right, first of all, Use your candy color and apply that, drag it straight under the object to make it blue. If you render that out, you'll see it's blue with a specular of white. 
Right, after that, you want to add the material you made yourself. Just drag that straight on again. On selection, you're going to type in capital C1 for the white, and that'll just apply it to the first cap. Now, you want to get the scratches, drag it on, and it'll look like that. Click off, and if you rotate around, you'll see it's applied scratches. Now, the iron vertical lines, it looks absolutely terrible. So you want to click the scratches, you want to move it before white, just to make sure it doesn't go over the white at any point. If you select the scratches, and on the projection option, you want to go to cubic. Now I'll put it like that, so it's like an actual image. Right, length U on this same material, you want to put it to 50%. And length V, you want to put that to 50% also. If you swing around here, and you click off, you'll see it's applied to the whole thing. And if you render that out, it will look like that. So, basically, that is it. You'll see the white material creates a little blue glow, and I thought that looks really good. And so, I've added that in. If you would like, um, if you render that out and see, that's basically just all white. You know what I mean? It's um, I mean, even with the an ambient occlusion, if you put ambient occlusion on in the render settings and go to contrast and go to th put that at 30, click X and render it out again. Just preview render. It's still all white. I mean, um, Troopers is kind of like a grey to white fade. So what I can do, what you can do for that, is on this material, double click on the colour, make it a tinsy a bit darker. Click OK. And on the specular, uh, you want to add specular colour. Make sure it's completely white. And specular just up the width, up the height, width up a bit, height up a bit. Um, the height is at 48%, the width is at 82%. Hopefully if we look at that, that should uh, be a bit more kind of trooper style, yeah. Yeah, so you see that? Uh, so yeah, I shall... I'll upload the the spline to um, a media fire and I'll put a download link um, but of course you'll just have to you have to pay for the grayscale grayscale gorilla I always find that hard to say you have to pay for that kit the texture kit I'm not sure how much it is I'll, uh, I'll have to have a look and I'll put that in the description as well um, so yeah that is how you c I wait that's how I create the syndicate project logo uh, trooper style. Okay, so um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope to you know see you soon and uh, bring more tutorials like this.